Because not every, everybody thinks they do. Right. And they're usually the loudest. Yeah. The ones that and the least they're... funny. Maybe, yes. Yeah. yeah. So when did you know? I think I got it. Um, I don't know. I think as a kid, most, well, some of it was junior high, I think, because I don't know if you noticed when you walked in. I'm, I'm a real tall gal. Uh, and so, you know, when you're in junior high and people are calling you giraffe and stuff like that, like, you learn that comedy is a really great way to sort of you know, diffuse. If people are laughing with you instead of at you, you know, it's sort of, it's a powerful thing. And you're like, I made someone laugh. That is powerful. It's like a drug. It's a drug. This is a little bit of inside baseball, but one okay. time, and, and it's a name drug at the oh, same time. Oh, I like that. I was working on something with Ryan Reynolds. And Ooh, let me pick that up for you right yep. there. There we go. It was on a sitcom, uh -huh. two, two men in a a pizza. Pizza place, two guys, a girl in a pizza place. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was auditioning for Friends, which I didn't get. And this is why. And I told him afterwards, I, I was going back to read for them, and I said, I don't get sitcoms. Like, I don't understand. And he said, there is a there is a melody mm -hmm. to lines in a sitcom. I still don't get it. Can you, how do you look at a line in a sitcom that doesn't appear funny and know it's funny? It's a rhythmic thing, and part of it is having performing in front of a live audience. Like, that sort of gives you that feeling of that da-da-da-da-da, hold, 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 and skatow, you know? And not that that's a it's joke. A great line, I mean, that's though. not a, that's not the funniest material I have. I mean, there's skatow, um, and I also think some of it you're sort of born with, yeah, you, you know. Yeah, you just get it. Reba, did you know Reba was gonna turn, turn things? Like turn what? Like me? Well, no, meaning oh. turn your career. That that was one of those roles where now you're, <laughs> you're known. Which would have been funny if all of a sudden Reba, she, uh, this is tonight on, yeah, she's a biter, she kicks. <laughs> um, no, you know, I knew when I met her and we did the first pilot, like, there was a definite, it felt right. The cast had such great chemistry. The script was funny. So, of course, you're like, well, this feels really fun and healthy. It's never going to get picked up. Um, and then it did. And, you know, you never know. It was my first, like, series regular. I was driving a, a pickup truck, and my that was my good car. The other one was a Tercel that we duct taped together. So I was like, I just want to be able to have a job and, you know, keep your head down and do it. And then... When it really started to, when it became sort of a, a hit for them, it was, you never expect that. And, you know, so at the beginning, I just wanted to, I just wanted to work, and then, you know, and then it became a hit. And then six years later, yeah. people are still calling me run. Barbara Jean. Yeah. Yeah. And did she, was she a mentor? She had had a lot of experience at that point in her career. Oh, I know. She's amazing. Yeah, she, for me, this would be my first series regular, to watch her lead a set with mm. such grace and humor and respect for everyone there. As a young, um, I should love, I was pretty young. I was super young back then. Yeah. And um, in fact, my dad had to drive me to work. Um, <laughs> but to watch her was a really important thing for me. And I, I remember when the show was over, I said, the biggest gift you gave me, A, was your friendship, and B, that I hope that I will go on to another show and, and hmm. lead by your example. Lead that way. Yeah. That's nice. So season, speaking of which, yeah. season two of Baby Dad. So yes. here we are. Here we are. Yeah. Do you have a sense, now that you've gone through one, do you have a sense early on, like, if we can just get in there and get hold, we'll be okay? Yeah. You sort of get that. And now it's it's even harder today than it was even back in when Reba premiered. They don't give you a lot of space or air to, to find your place. You get about 20 seconds You get of your 20, first like episode. you could be in the middle of area and someone's like, you know what, we're just going to get, you know, you, could you leave and can I take, take your wallet and keys and they get rid of you? So, you know, it's to have the chance to get to know the characters and have a second season and to have everything gel and feel tight. It's wonderful, and, and it has done that. We've had a great time. So when you you also have, I want to talk about uh, Bet on Your Baby. Yes. Because I have a close connection to that. But before we get to that, just schedule-wise, mm -hmm. how do you, this is a question you get asked all the time, because the good news about having another right. show is you're working more. The bad news is you're working more. Well, you're one to talk. You work all the time. But uh, as you know, well, this isn't the real me. This is just the clone. There's another one doing a show back there. So... 
Um, living an alternate Living an reality. alternate life. And I hope, hopefully she went to the gym. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, the reality is, you know, you shoot, you're really busy for a small chunk of time. And then you get a lot of time off, or maybe forever, you never know. And it actually, it's not, I, I get more time than anyone who does like a nine to five job probably every day. I have more time off than, So you, you know, feel like you're living a I, um, why? Do I seem unbalanced? No, um, not at all. Everything's great, Jeff. I can do it all. I can do it all. For $5,000, which toy will baby Remy choose? Melissa Peterman's latest project is a hilarious competition series called Bet on Your Baby. It premieres April 13th on ABC. <laughs> Melissa Peterman is here hosting a new game show on ABC called Bet on Your Baby, which is premiering this month. So I have to confess, I know something about this show. A good friend of mine is one of the creators, Craig Armstrong. He showed us a tape of a little pilot they did about eight mm -hmm. months ago at our house. There were a group of us, and every person went, oh my God, that's the greatest idea ever. It is the greatest idea ever. It's just, it's everything you want. It's, it's babies, it's parents, it's good family fun. You can win college money. And who does, I mean, that's, yeah. So you were in right away? When I met with Craig and everyone there, and they told me the idea, it was one of those things where it just, as a parent, you didn't even have to be a parent. It's just a wonderful concept. And I was on board immediately. And I like to say it's one of those things that looked good on that, you know, the hanger, but then when you put it on, it was even better because mm. when Which it came, doesn't always happen. it doesn't always happen. Like the, the actual show coming together was better than I thought it was going to be. I, I think we have, do we have a little clip of this? Uh, yeah, we have a clip of, a, you do these sort of prank phone calls with kids, Well, right? it's not just prank phone calls. I'm like, you know, Craig, if, if, we're, if we've got toddlers, we have to, we have to, you have to let me improvise with them. There's nothing more fun or to have comedy gold than a toddler and to have, you don't know what, don't know what they're going to say. So we just roll tape on all the kids and we did little moments and um, this is one of my favorite moments So this right is where you get a kid to make a We just take them back. Roll. Well, yeah, this one is. So. Okay. Yeah. All right, yeah, take a look at this roll. Let's call Barbara Walters. <laughs> See, Barbara Walters, you should, you should have Melissa on the view. I want Melissa on the view. Ooh. Hope she hasn't traced it this time. <laughs> okay, that kid was a genius, and we did many more. I was like, all right, here's George Clooney, and I gave him the phone, and I said, now you just yelled, Clooney, you were a fool to ever let Melissa Peterman go. She was the best you ever had. <laughs> and he's like, Clooney, you Melissa Peterman, best ever. I went, we'd never have dated, but I would have been, George. <laughs> So working with kids is a little, it can be tricky. We've done it a few times mm -hmm. on here. They, they can be gold or they can be right. they can be very tough. Would you choose to work with kids? I'm just curious again after this. Oh, I would work with kids anytime, any place. If I wasn't acting, I, I would probably be doing something with kids. Really? I, just, I love them. I love, what I love about kids, especially that age too, is they haven't, they don't care yet if anyone's watching. Like they're, they're not worried, they're not editing themselves mm -hmm. yet. And I think it's great to be around an age where you remember, wasn't it neat when I didn't care if anyone was watching or what they thought? And that's what I just, I get from being around. And you're, how old is your son? He's seven. And what is he, is he developing that sense of humor? Are you feeling that? Is it a shock? Oh. Oh. Just a little best in record. You just want to go home right now. I do. I'll be home soon. That's Janet, our dog, Giannis, and Riley. So um, is it in the blood? Well, yeah, I think so. He definitely has a good sense of humor. We were sort of nervous. I met my husband doing improv, and we're like, well, what if we get a kid who's, like, super serious, you know, like, you know, and, la and late for mathletes or something, and I wouldn't know what to do, and he has a good sense of humor. In fact, my husband came home the other day, and he was all doing this big, like, dad's home from work, and he said, everyone, dad's home, and Riley looks at me and did his first air quote joke, and he said, oh, great. Dad's home. <laughs> I mean, I was proud of the air quote and the sarcasm, you know, or I just said sarcasm. Sarcasm? 
Yeah. Sarcasm. Yeah. I just felt like I emphasized the wrong syllable. Oh, no. Um <laughs> And uh, I was like, well, you used air quotes, but I didn't know why he chose to use them for dad. Yeah. Like, you know, if indeed you are my father, <laughs> <Right>. you know. <laughs> Really? You know, uh, so yeah, he definitely has a good sense of humor. Well, I've loved having you here. We actually have a day coming up where Yvette isn't going to be here. You should come. Would you come sit in and host chat with us? Um, let me think about it for a minute. Yeah. Yes! Bet on Your Baby premieres this month on ABC, and check out ABC Family for the second season of Baby Daddy, which premieres on May 29th.